Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you four ballet hairstyles. Usually I would use hairspray, obviously because I'm not doing like proper classes, I am not going to use hairspray. So all I'm going to use is this brush, this brush maybe if I need it, and this comb, and then grips, the ones which are like open, and then bubbles. The first hairstyle we're going to do is a low bun. So I naturally already have my parting in the middle. It may not be exactly in the middle, I might have to check, but you can do a low bun with like a side parting if you prefer but I do prefer it in the centre. Preferably if you do have a comb with a one of these silver things at the bottom, it is really, really helpful to like basically just comb back your hair like this and try and find the middle of your head, so. And just run it all the way down. Yeah, so my natural parting wasn't actually in the centre. So, yeah, you want to just find your middle part in and then give your hair a brush. Okay, and then once you've brushed your hair, what you're going to do is just flick it behind you and I get a brush again and I just brush the hair on each side going behind the ear on both sides. I always do it in the angle like going backwards because I know some people like do it like going down if that makes sense. So like this would be down and then this is like more out I don't know if that even I don't know if you can actually see that difference but that's what I do so I go more out okay and then once you've done that you get the hair behind and you just smooth out all the bumps by just putting the brush in your head and just brushing it all back and join it into the ponytail at the back just like that and once it's all pretty smooth you can just tie it up with a bubble I usually use two bubbles just so it's a bit tighter don't do it right at the bottom where you're hairline like stops just do it a tiny bit above because if you do it below then when you grip it there won't be any hair to like grip it into so you just tie that up like that okay so it should look like this and then what you can do is if you do have any like loose bits you can just get one of these combs and just brush it down usually I would put hairspray on at this point and the hairspray would help the wispy bits to go down using the comb so I think I'm pretty okay and then what you need to do is get your ponytail I'm just gonna do it facing backwards so you can see so I get my ponytail and I twist it like this And then all you do is twist it round like this. And then at the end, where the end goes, I get a grip. So 
then I get another one and put it at the top. And another one at the side. Basically just keep putting them in until you feel like it's secure and it won't come out. Usually if I was wearing a bun net, I would do the same, twisting it round, then put the bun net on and then grip. So it's pretty similar with or without the bun net. In Classic Central, I would always wear a bun net. In Classic Central, I would always wear a bun net, but it's been okay just to not wear one during this time. I'm not sure what that looks like, but it should be okay. Should look like a donut sort of thing. Oh, and I, I always get these bits like here, so I just rip them up like that, or if I am using hairspray, I'll just hairspray them. But they're a bit annoying. This is the low bun. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a high bun with twists. This hairstyle I literally used to do all the time when I was younger. But now I tend to do a low bun like all the time. So, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your comb. You need to go just a third in your hair there and just section off part of the front of your hair like this. So you've drawn like a line. Try and get it so it's like a nice smooth line and not like jaggedy Okay, and then do the exact same thing on the other side. And once you've got these two parts, you need to just, basically you need to just get rid of <laughs> all the other parts of your hair, just so it doesn't get mixed up. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're literally just gonna bobble them together. You do look quite strange for a few minutes, but in the end, it will look nice. I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put the back part into a bubble first. And then just make sure that these parts are okay. I'm actually just gonna twist these round just so they're a bit more stable. Got a little beard. Actually, a big beard. That would be a big beard. You're gonna get your brush, you're gonna release the back part, and you're gonna brush it all back like this. Once you've done that, you're gonna put this into like a high ponytail. I always have to do this to get it up. Okay. I always do the bubble at like the crown of the head, which is like right where my hand is basically. And I just even out any bumps. Once I've done that, I get the bubbles. I'm not sure how neat this looks actually. Ooh. Okay, and then you're just gonna bubble that.
actually feels weird doing this because I haven't done like proper nice ballet hair in so long. Right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna release these parts and you can just give them a bit of a comb. At this point, usually I would spray these with hairspray to make them a bit more sturdy and so they stay in place better but I'm not going to use that today so you get it like this so it's all brushed like outwards so like it's flat and then you just start to twist at this point and just continue that going all the way to the ponytail and then once you've got to the ponytail you just get a cl closed grip and just grip it just like that so it should be held there and then you do exactly the same to the other side I remember doing these twists for ages and ages like every time I did them because for some reason I thought they had to be like perfect even though that's just not the case because honestly people won't even notice if it's not perfect only you think that people will notice but they won't so yeah so that's basically the twists done and then all that you need to do now is do the bun which is very similar to is it well it's exactly the same as the bun with the low bun but it's just higher so what i'm gonna do is oh yeah so you need to grab the actual ponytail part and the ends of the two twists and you're gonna just twist it around in exactly the same way as i did for the low bun just like this and usually I would put a bun net over this at this stage like right now and then grip it in but today I'm just gonna go straight in with the grips so I just grip where the end was and then one at the front Side. Okay, and then usually I have quite a lot of wispy bits at the back, so I just comb them up usually with hairspray and literally just grip them with a closed grip, just like that. And then you're pretty much done. So, this is what a high bum with twists look like. Looks like this at the back. So yeah, this is quite a nice burn if you want to do something a bit different. Please ignore my hair right now, but I just took it out of the twists. So I'm going to show you how to do a slick back high bun. So basically all you do is just whack up the hair and just like this. Just sort out any bumps by just brushing the hair through and then joining it to the bubble. the position that you want it at
sorry it got caught in my ring <laughs> you're basically just gonna put the first grip around around here just like that you're gonna let go of that part what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep gripping around okay so what you literally just have to do is just keep bringing all the hair round from the left side and just ripping it in like that and then once you've i've actually run out of like bun grips because they're all in london because so i've just come back to lincoln for a few days so after this grip i'm gonna have to start using the other grips with this little bit is just twist it and then push it in there. All you need to do is just literally keep gripping it in from the bottom all the way to the top and then it should end up looking something like this. It's not the neatest because I haven't put like hairspray on but this is what it looks like. But that's it today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you can try out some of the hairstyles and have a bit of fun. Thank you so much for watching and if you get a chance like and subscribe.